king of soccer, Pele. For years, he fascinated the world with his samba-like moves and inspired newer generations of Brazilian soccer superstars. If I was to make a replay in my life, talvez if I had made my last goal with the Brazilian selection, I would like Our ambassador for this year's World Cup. The World Cup, are you excited? Yes, I am very excited. The most important is the country, you know, the Brazilian country, organize a you know, wonderful World Cup. What's going to be the final game? My God, I hope Brazil will be in the final. I don't know who is going to be with Brazil, but Brazil should be in the final with someone. That and it's matter. going to win as well? I hope so. So, Pela, the last time the World Cup was in Brazil was in 1950. At that time, you know, I was uh, 9 to 10 years old, um, I saw my father crying. The man used to say, the father, man, don't cry. Mm -hmm. Man, don't cry. <laughs> uh, then I asked, why are you crying? I said, Brazil lost the World Cup. That's I uh, don't have in my <laughs> mind until now. <laughs> well, he didn't know that you were going to be the I most iconic soccer player in the world then. I don't know what to say to him. They say, say no, don't worry, don't cry. I'm going to win one World Cup for you. <laughs> then this was uh, uh, eight years late. Yep. You know, with 17, I was in Sweden, okay. one of the most important and the well-known country in the world. Now, how would you compare the life of a soccer star then in the 60s and now? We didn't have the facilities. Yeah. <laughs> now the sponsors, they you know they pay everything. Mm -hmm. With uh, with Brazil that time, we used to travel. When we get in Europe, you get bus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now they have a helicopter, they have a jet, <laughs> they have everything. The game has changed a lot, but so have his fans. His latest project is a daily vlog produced and directed by his daughter Kelly. So how do you feel about following you around doing these things? Oh. I worry a little bit about, you know, everybody gonna know about my life. Estou trocando as bolas de neve. She grew up watching her father in the limelight and is now giving World Cup viewers access to a side of the legend no one has ever seen before. You know, I make people happy, not because I score a goal, because I cook very well. <laughs> My daughter Kelly, she came with the idea to say, listen, uh, the people know Pelé, you know, by name, is the, the youngest, they, they, they heard about Pelé, their father talked about Pelé. But um, nobody knows exactly what, uh, what uh, Pelé is doing. Let's let do something for this new generation. We're talking about... Brazil and Argentina, there is no place to go for Mainz. Pelé in campo novamente. Pelé is another planet. A great moment in the history of the football world. Gostaria de marcar o seu último gol pela seleção brasileira. O campo não se alterou, a bola é redonda, ele vai fazer. Será que ele enfrenta de igual para igual essa molecada de 25 ou 30 anos? Pode volver a jogar. Pode. Sim, até ser gol também. Claro. Mas não contra a Argentina, querido. A Argentina não tem que importar se em outro equipo joga Pelé, Madonna ou El Papa. Eu já estava com saudade de te ver com essa camisa. É, e os nossos irmãos, hein? Estão dizendo que não vieram pra cá pra dar mole, não. Eu não acho possível Pelé, com 70 anos, jogar e jogar bem. Mas quando você fala em grande jogador é uma coisa, quando você fala no Pelé é outra. Aí 
Desempeño pobrísimo de Pelé, el rey Pelé. Pelé fue bien marcado para variar los argentinos. Bateron. Le dieron porque están jugando jóvenes contra una persona que tendría que en este momento estar sentada en el sofá con el control remoto en la mano. Ahora se fue Pelé, y Pelé se puede esperar todo. Si por ventura él no conseguí hacer ese gol tan soñado, a gente tiene que falar obrigado, Pelé, y agradecer por todo que él fez, hasta por ese juego. para fazer um, um replay na minha vida, talvez se eu tivesse feito o meu último gol para a seleção brasileira, eu gostaria. <risos> 